I remember the first and last time I talked back to my stepdad. Oh, you can't get away with that. I remember that time. I was like, hey, what do I got to do what you tell me to do? You're not even my real dad. He was like, because, mijo, I'll beat you like you're not my real son. Let's go ahead and get this party popping and get things started. Next up, I have an incredible comedian, Omar Tararango. Well, I said that really white, didn't I? Okay, so anyway, so he's born and raised in the state of Texas. <laughs> He shares a unique perspective about family, life, and love. You guys are going to love him. He has an incredible canny uh, bringing, it's not stumbling like I do. Hey, let's get it. Omar Tatarango. Yes. All right. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm a big mama's boy, by the way. I love my mama. I, I remember my friends, they used to make fun of me when they first found out that I would shower with my mom. <laughs> Last shower I took with my mom, I got out, I was upset, I was wet, I was crying, I was like, Mom, I don't think it's a good idea that I shower with you anymore. My friends are making fun of me. She was like, that's okay, mijo, I understand you're getting older. Now hurry up and get dressed, or you're going to be late for work. <laughs> I couldn't get away with stuff with my mom. My mom was too smart. I remember I was such a smart addict. I, 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 one time I was like, I hate this family. Mom, was I adopted? She was like, oh, you're so stupid. <laughs> if you were adopted, why would I have chosen you? <laughs> I asked my mom if she was pro-choice. She was, mijo, yes, I am pro-choice. But luckily for you, I'm a bigger procrastinator. <laughs> yeah. I remember the first and last time I talked back to my stepdad. Oh, you can't get away with that. I remember that time. I was like, hey, what do I got to do what you tell me to do? You're not even my real dad. He was like, because, mijo, I'll beat you like you're not my real son. <laughs> was that a Bud Light you wanted from the fridge? <laughs> Daddy? I'm a parent myself now. I've got three beautiful kids, everybody. Thank you, thank you. And I got one really crappy one. The other day I found a condom wrapper in his backpack. Yeah. I don't know whether to be upset that he's having sex at such an early age or jealous that they were magnum sized. Yeah. yeah. All I'm saying, I don't think Tyrone is mine. You know what I mean? His mama got some explaining to do, is what I'm saying. <laughs> it's tough, uh, tough dating today. I don't know about you. You have trouble dating, man? <sighs> no, you don't. Okay, because you black. That's right. <laughs> but I have trouble dating where I come from, man. Because it's, it, I mean, the last woman I dated was a stay-at-home mom. Her ankle monitor wouldn't let her leave the house. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. But see, you don't have trouble dating, but you're here alone. I don't see how that happens. <laughs> uh, do you know my son, Tyrone? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but ladies, ladies, you got to admit, you got to admit this. Best relationships, best relationships. Friends with benefits. Yes, yeah, that's right. Ladies, what are the best benefits? Medical, dental, and vision. Now think about it, what would you rather have whispered in your ear? I want you, baby. Or, $10 copay, baby. Yeah. Oh, do I have protection? Girl, I've got comprehensive coverage, girl. I don't know about you guys, man. I'm tired of being broke, man. Yeah. I'm the kind of broke that leaves his kids IOUs from the tooth fairy. You know I mean? I'm the kind of broke that when I give my kids an allowance, I immediately borrow it back. I'm the kind of broke that when I leave for work in the morning, I turn the porch light on so that when I return, I can tell right away whether or not my power was disconnected. <laughs> I'm 
I'm the kind of broke that when I go to the store, the cashier's like, that'll be 336, sir. Would you like some cash back on your debit card? <laughs> Hey, uh, let's just cross our fingers for 336. Yeah. I can't even play board games because I'm so broke. Like Monopoly? Give me a break. Like they should make like a poor version of Monopoly, right? I don't know, maybe add a different square or something, like uh, a payday loan square, how about that? <laughs> Right, you land on that, you collect 50 bucks, you pass go, you give them back 200 bucks. <laughs> it's poor monopoly. Or how about this, how about this? How about a car title loan square? Yeah. You land on that sucker, you can borrow 3,000 bucks, and then you can spend the rest of the game hiding your little car behind another player's property. <laughs> Poor Monopoly. I'm glad you like that, that game. Somebody should invent it. Yeah. Oh, man, I think there are double standards when it comes to relationships. Ladies, you know this. Like, ladies, you can bring home a man and introduce him to your man as long as he's gay. That's exactly right. And you guys are just nonchalant about it, right, ladies? You'll be like, hey, baby, this is Alonzo. Yeah, but don't worry, he's just a friend. Besides, he's gay. That's why he looks so good. <laughs> you can never do that, dude. You can never bring home a woman to your, to your lady and be like, hey, baby, this is candy. <laughs> yeah, but don't worry, baby, she's just a friend. Yeah. And besides, she's a lesbian. That's why she looks so good. <laughs> Basketball season is over. Yeah. Can you believe that? I, I, I don't know about you, but I think that watching an NBA game is probably the most exciting thing to watch on TV. Because watching an NBA game is a lot like watching an episode on Cops. Did you ever see? Think about it. Think about it. The, the black guys always act surprised that they're getting blamed for something. And the white guys always take the blame. See, you guys aren't seeing it. See, it's funnier in slow motion. I'm, I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like when the referees call a foul on somebody like LeBron James. Slow motion. Here we go. See, but it's a whole lot different when they call a foul on one of the white players. That guy takes the blame. This is what that looks like in slow motion. is exactly why you will never see a Mexican in the NBA, man. Because <laughs> we don't take the blame from no one. You put a Mexican in the NBA and they call a foul on us, this is what that looks like in slow motion. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button at the bottom. You can also follow us on many of your favorite platforms.